Hey, internet. I am here with Yui Vision. She is a vision. Look at her. She's amazing. <laughs> um, Yui is a uh, really accomplished makeup artist that I'm privileged to know. Uh, she's worked with Dior Japan, Tavi Jevonson, Tom Brown, just to name a few. Um, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you coping with the pandemic? Well, I'm really good at staying inside. For many people, surprise, I've done this when I was a teenager, self-quarantine myself. Oh, and wow, I'm what for? <laughs> Wait, what, what for? Just I didn't want to be with people. <laughs> I think I've actually been doing that for most of my life, and I just never <laughs> thought to uh, call it self-quarantine until now. I'm really honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, at, I'm like, I'm realizing that uh, my schedule really isn't that much different right exactly. now from how it usually is. So I'm like, yep, yeah. stay in my house. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk to Yui today about uh, the importance of wearing a mask during an epidemic. Uh, the reason I'm talking to Yui is because she made this amazing Instagram post. Um, and this was actually a few weeks back before anybody was even debating mask wearing. And um, just, to, just to read it back, it says, um, please read. We wear masks to care. We care for others. We care for ourselves. We care. It's never an attack. Stop being racist. Stop judging the appearance. Stop saying evil things to us. You are disrespecting our culture. You are disrespecting the kindness in us. You are disrespecting yourself. I am not allowing this. This is so hurtful. Um, and I think uh, we can both agree that we've seen, unfortunately, such a rise in uh, Asian people, Chinese people, but really anyone who passes as Asian right now, um, uh, becoming fearful of potentially getting attacked on the street, uh, whether they're wearing a mask or not, but it seems like wearing a mask seems to be like elevating that danger. I've been seeing posts on the internet. Um, I've been seeing posts within my Instagram community of people getting yelled at, people getting harassed on the street uh, simply for being Asian and wearing a mask. And uh, I really wanted to talk to you about that today to just heighten the awareness of that and just kind of see um, what we can do as a community online to prevent this from happening further. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about just kind of like the history of wearing a mask in Japan? It is actually a very cultural thing to hide mouth mm. in Asia. Why is that? So 1192 in Heian period, all the women was covering their mouth with fan when they laughed because they were painting their face in white. And if you laugh big, you crack. Oh, face like the. <laughs> so we were like a makeup artist, you know about that. And then even now in Japan, we don't laugh open mouth in public. We will cover our mouth and like giggle, like, oh, yeah. You know that. <laughs> now that you mention it, I believe you. <laughs> in Japan, around this season right now, Pollen allergy is a big thing. So everybody's sneezing, everybody's coughing right now, not because of corona, because of allergy. Yeah. And that really prevents, the mask prevents people from having allergic reaction as much. That sounds smart. So it got really, really popular um, to wear mask in daily basis especially when you're sick if you're not wearing mask you're considered to be very rude you're spreading your virus out it's also become uh, a pretty big fashion trend in uh various parts of asia and i feel like that that kind of has manifested the most in japan can you talk about that a little bit 
Well, you know, that's what Japan does when we get something. We want to make it fun and colorful and elevate it. (laughs) Yeah, so it's already such a part of the culture that (laughs) this is like, this is like comedy back here. Um, So it's always, it's already such a part of the culture that, uh, that, that, fashion companies are manufacturing these creative masks. That's why you see it so much in like uh, the EGL community, for instance, and like Gothic communities, because it's uh, it's something that people use anyway for health benefits or health reasons there. So they incorporate yeah. it. So it's something that like sunglasses, it's same for us. Exactly. So we're just presenting something. And then since that we're doing something, we want to be cute and comfortable. So we have many masks that's 3D, so it fits really well. Yeah. There's so many people wear masks and then it gets very foggy. But this <laughs> glass. That's happened to me. I wore one in a blizzard once and it fogged up my sunglasses. Yeah, so we have every kind of mask for every needs in this point. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, in America, people deal with... Um, uh, illness in such a selfish way, I feel like, like we just kind of take pills and then we go to work. Like, I mean, people, it, it, like, it's insane to me that, that for, it seems like for so many people right now, just the common courtesy of coughing into your elbow or, um, washing your hands is like a new thing and uh it seems like uh in so many asian countries people are so ahead of the curve right um so in japan we grow up learning that after you come home you have to wash your hands and goggle your throat and if you're coughing a little bit you wear a mask that's like such a common sense I didn't even think of it until I came to America Um, I was told from my American friend in Japan that I shouldn't be wearing masks in America people will be scared and I was like wait what and it's I learned a different culture and then so I didn't wear the mask in America but I always felt wrong coughing in public because I grew up in different way and I don't, I think it's just cultural thing that we want to be more conscious about other people. Also being shy helps us to cover up. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, like, it's important to be nice to people, I guess, but we literally grew up this way. We have kids masks, smaller size one, we all had it, we always washed hands, we had to carry handkerchief to school to wash hands. I just, I I love that there's such a culture around courtesy in, uh, in cities in Asia, uh, and in Japan included. I feel like there's not as much of a culture around courtesy in America, Uh, and I, I feel like Japan is very known for, uh, being very, very polite, very courteous. Thank you. We try. <laughs> um, so right now, we're seeing more and more uh, Chinese friends and people of Asian descent face harassment uh, in the U.S. and also in other non-Asian countries uh, just for wearing masks in public. How does it feel to be Asian in America during this pandemic? I have many, many, many friends from everywhere in an LGBTQ community, but I never understood how much of danger those people are feeling daily basis because I'm in New York, I'm in the community. I never, I knew racism is a thing, but I never encountered it. I never felt danger for my life until now. So it is definitely scary. I look how I look for a reason and people don't really fight with me because they know they're gonna be in trouble. It's just, I feel like this is just a trigger. This is just giving people reason to be racist. So that is very, very heartbreaking. And I get really angry at people attacking us when they love orange chicken. (laughs) (laughs) 
um, what what's been making you the angriest that you've been seeing? I mean, I know uh, I know you there, you were feeling a lot of anger when you wrote that initial post about um, people being more accepting of people wearing masks. I think the anger in regard of mask for me is because people misunderstood our intention to wear a mask. Um, if it was for attack and if people are fearful, if we're carrying gun and if people are like bashing us, sure. But it's not that. It was never that. And I was very upset because one, I learned that people are just reactive, very reactive, and don't try to learn. Right. Second, it's just like it's 2020, it's New York. I never thought this was gonna happen, you know. I never thought this kind of danger could happen, which is again like shocking because I know many of your friends, I'm sure you know many of your friends every day fearing for their life walking down the street. Right. So it was definitely eye-opening moments for me and I want to learn more myself as well, but I really encourage people to learn, look up for facts before react because it's very, very dangerous. It's very... It's just anger directing to an excuse, you know? Absolutely, and I think we can apply that logic to so many things, especially during these times when we're getting a lot of uh, different information. There's so many emotions yes. surrounding us. Okay. So that brings me to my next question, which is how can those of us who are not Asian or Asian passing help destigmatize Asian members of our communities who choose to wear masks? Well, first of all, I felt like if any conflicts are happening in front of you, you need to support Asian people. Um, you should always kind of take that positive side and try to calm this person in. I've encountered a lot of situations in my life, not only for masks, but through my New York life that I'm having conflict with somebody and nobody helps and that's such a sad moment so I'm not telling you to fight for us but you know like just be a little supportive and show the care um and also just to wear a mask actually help us to you know not stand out as well and also protect yourself yeah. <laughs> so I think that would really help Absolutely. Um, what, where, where can people buy cute masks, Yui? Where can I, can I get some? I used to have one and I got rid of it and I'm really mad that I did. Well, Stella, it seems like we both need to make you a mask from now. <laughs> right. Um, to people because, you know, it's really hard. I get a lot of questions and again, it's my culture and I sometimes wear a mask during my work when I'm sick. Um, because I don't want to give that out to models or talents. So Absolutely. I've been having my mask for a while, but you can always get, oh, you can always make a mask. I will send you a link so you can show that to people, but you can always make a cute mask. Cool. Yeah, I might have to do a tutorial soon. <laughs> I need to that would be so great. I'm sure that people will love it. Right. Um, I'll figure it out next week. Um, uh, okay, my final question, which is on a much lighter note. Um, you are a wonderfully imaginative makeup artist, and I would love some tips about how to look fucking cute while wearing a mask. How should I be doing my makeup? <laughs> well, so since that most of your face will be covered. Yeah, I want I want I want your I want your craziest tips, you will you just just so when I wear a mask, I normally put a very thick moisturizer under it because, and then it's going to steam in. So Ooh. your skin's going to glow while you're wearing mask. Ooh, okay. But I always try to do bigger eyes. Yeah. So it stands out. And what else for a mask? If you want to wear lipstick under the mask, it 
have to be liquid formula, quite dry one. If it's normal lipstick, when you take it off, like yogurt can happen. So, <laughs> so you have to have very, very mild lip or just don't wear them. It's okay. Cool. Perfect. That's amazing. So thank you so much, Yui. Um, this has been amazing. It's been so wonderful to see your face because I've been inside for so long. I cannot think of a better face to finally see than yours. And, um, and thank you so much for all this information. Uh, it really means a lot to hear it from you. Hey, Yui, where can people find you online? Find me at Yui Vision. Y-U-U-I-V-I-S-O-N. Can you put a link on this? I can put a link on here. <laughs> Look, there it is. There it is. I don't know where it is, but it's There here. it is. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to start a YouTube, so stay tuned on my Instagram for more news updates. Amazing. Cool. I'm putting your Instagram on here right now as well. There, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Editing. Cool. Thank you so much for subscribing to my content, guys. Remember, there is solidarity in mask wearing. It sucks we have to do this right now, but have fun with it. Go wild. Let's stand together to combat racism and harassment both online and off. Make sure to check out Yui online for endless beauty inspo. And I'll see you in the next video.